is the best recommendation I could ask for, Fred. Glowing review of my stream, unironically. Seven as well. On a Let's Go, I enjoy watching and doing. I don't know, I consider Let's Go separate from Sun and Moon. <laughs> came out after Sun Moon, right? Yeah. 
So wouldn't it be a Gen 7.5 then? Canonically, every single Pokemon cartridge is its own parallel universe. This is confirmed in the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire post game. Because in the post game, they talk about uh, like sending a meteor to a, to a parallel universe, and the device they use to send it is called the link cable, which, you know, should sound familiar. Yeah, Violet and Scarlet. Looks like it's based on like Spain or something. I don't know, I'm not a super worldly fella, but it looked it looked like Spain. It could also be Italy. That was the other thing I was thinking. Iberia, that's Spain. Yeah. Well, also Portugal. They are the same country anyway, and I'm sure I'll upset no one by saying that. Uh, yeah, that, that's gonna be Gen 9. Based on the first stage evolution designs, I think the Fire Dino is the best, and I don't think it's close. But that's just me. Low roll! Alright, well, these fights sucked. Encounter start in history. This time it's like as bad as a four encounter start. Not quite.
be really funny if the cat's final stage evolution was just Incineroar, but green. I didn't mean to potion that, but it's too late now. Great turn one. Can I get the three turn? No. Still a great fight though. I mean, that's actually Eh, no, that's about... That's right at where I thought it would be, honestly. So we're in October, November. Well, November is a very competitive uh, month to release games in. As it turns out, developing a video game takes a pretty long time. That's true. It makes more sense for, you know, a Pokemon game to come out in November because, you know, they've got name recognition. The reason why November was so competitive is because a bunch of companies try to get out their games to hit the Christmas rush. But Pokemon is su such a popular franchise that it makes sense for them to go for that window. Just based on name recognition, brand recognition. I wouldn't know, I am an expert in, you know, video game marketing decisions. It's basically my second major. Getting that tackle on the last turn, because tackle always hits on the last turn. It's slightly unfortunate. It makes me more likely to die. But if it goes well, then it'll go really well. How many are there right now? I guess it also depends on how you count. Like, do you count Doug Trio and Alolan Doug Trio as two separate Pokemon? What about all the Deoxys forms? What about all the Zygarde forms? What about Mega Evolutions? If it's 898, it wouldn't surprise me if they actually brought it to exactly 1,000. 100 new Pokemon for a game is pretty standard. Gold Silver had 100 added. I think Ruby Sapphire had 100 added. Gen 5 was 150. Gen 1 was obviously 151. Oh, was it 155? Hmm. I mean, that was close. Alright, I need Rock to do 10. But, like, I know my luck, so I'm gonna get... 
I'm gonna get double 11, which is really getting triple 11. Rock Tomb is 7 and 16 to do 10. Having 28 health here instead of 22 would be pretty nice. But I mean, nothing I can do about it. Hey, it did 10. Okay, I can get a crazy fight here. If this does exactly 18, that's 19. I'm lucky. It's a proc the Orin Berry. Two Hardens is weird. I'm not going to get Torrent because he hardened twice and now he's not going to tackle me. It's pretty dumb. He hasn't used block yet. Obviously not worth it to stall though, because I lose one turn here and then save it back later, but it's not guaranteed, so. Alright, that was a pretty bad start to the run, but then I had everything from Aqua Boot John was great. Seventeen fifteen. Roxanne without torrent is like fine. It's fine. Possibility that's early. Okay, that's good. Nice. And I have four potions. Very good. Seventy-two new Pokemon is probably the lowest the series has ever had in a new game. If I were to guess. Oh, that is true, there were Mega Evolutions. Again, it comes back to the question of do you count Mega Evolutions as new Pokemon? I would also argue that like every Deoxys form counts as its own Pokemon. Probably 
froze for a second. I accidentally minimized OBS. Hopefully it doesn't fuck with the local recording. be annoying if this run actually finished and then it's not valid because I minimized OBS for a second. Probably not enough to uh, to invalidate a run. And two, this run isn't even gonna finish anyway, so who cares? Six forty sleep board is fine, and I have four potions, which is nice.
26, 36. Not bad, not bad. do that. Oh boy. Okay, I can butt slap that. Okay. Love 
turn one quick attacks. You're fucking kidding me right now. That actually just happened. You can't use either of those. Probably because Ember does more damage. Or it might not even know the moves. I don't know. Okay, maybe it knows the moves, but I'm not incorrect in saying it can't use either of those moves. Probably because Ember does the most out of the three of them. Thanks for the host sparkle. Wrong Minin. You literally just missed the most cringe mining of all time. Turn one, quick attack. Uh, turn two, growl, miss mud shot, growl. It's okay though, because my rival two fight's gonna be amazing. the triple ember fight, but we still got the short sleep fight. Okay, three turn sleep, one ember. Not bad. Two fucking turns because I missed mud shot. That was a really high roll. How dare you finish a run? Now I have no side content. Is there? He doesn't have the speed run tag in his thing. So it wasn't showing up on our thing.
Also, yesterday I did an offline run. Amazing run through Norman. Uh, through Rival 3, honestly. And then... I got the worst Winona split you've ever seen. And I lost the run to the Tropius because I got double Razor Leaf crit. double battle went... I one-shot the Carvana, so it went, started off great. And then fucking Whalemer water pulsed Swampert, confused him, and then I hit myself in confusion three times in a row. Super Mario Bros. 2, huh? Well, congrats. Because of that, I am going to get this 9 and 16 Zigzagoon range. Okay. Sometimes all you need is confidence, right? My miss rate on this Voltorb is absolutely crazy. I don't understand it. I miss on this Voltorb more than any other Pokemon in the game. Game just absolutely refuses to give me, like... <sighs> and and it, it never gives me a good Watson split.
If I get quick attack, I have to get the super potion. Cool. This run was the most super potion skip any run has ever super potion skipped, and then in one fight, that's just gone. I could, well, hmm, actually, I take it back. No, I can still skip the super potion. It's a weird situation. But I'm gonna potion um, when I use my last repel. Because I have four of them. For God spinners. Okay, still pretty good. It's important that I potion there because what uh, at this higher HP, um, Mighty Enda is a lot more likely to sand attack. Whereas if I didn't potion, he would bite a lot more. Really? Come on. When you bonk, the lag is weird. No. Because it's the fucking mock bike. Bonks are inevitable. a lot of bonks like that one are intentional.
That sounds great until you think about it for two seconds and realize that after every single one of my bonks, I would have to specify whether it was intentional or not. Yeah, that's literally all it is. I've had worse splits, but I'm not happy with how I performed that split. Both of the other two moves. And Ember has Stab, and Smog is like 10 base power. Okay, but Rock Tomb would still be not very effective. Like, I did potion during the split. That eats up a decent chunk of time. Ideally I get two sands, but I need at least one.
please. Okay, we're good. So close to perfect biking, I messed up the very end. Feels like a smog mist kind of run. screen is even better. Sunny day. Okay, it's all fine. I have to heal before uh, swallow now, but I mean that's a perfectly fine fight. That's a gold split. Which is interesting because it didn't even crit. Well, it even saved time on world record. I do waste just enough frames that she won't see you. Turn framing always loses time, but not everything gives a turn frame. 
is the answer to your question at a high level. Ooh, okay. All right, deserved, I guess. That was almost really clean. Turn frame is a turn frame. I have, yeah. It's just, it, I normally get it on a split where I menu, I guess. This one I didn't have to menu before. Flannery. Yeah, that's a real gold. I think. I mean, it's possible I had a better time on my old splits. But I mean, it's... That was a good flare set. Literally the only mistakes where I made one bonk and I didn't crit Torkoal. I mean, calling not critting Torkoal a mistake is, I mean. Torkoal did body slam, not para. And I got light screen from Slugma, so. Like, pretty damn close to optimal. Time for the crazy Norman split so that I get a, a 104. It's not gonna happen. Actually crazy that that last time. I only went two tiles to the right instead of one, and she moved left. The problem with sub-6 Normans is basically every sub-6 Norman needs to get the Vigoroth range. In addition to, you know, every other range on the split. That is not a range. Spinda... Uh, Spinda double mud shot is not a range. Uh, but Mud Chop plus Strength is 88%, I think. Um, and then, I don't know what the Zangoose range is, double Mud Shot, but I think it's around low 60s to two shot. Something around there. Focus Punch, very good. That's a strength, yeah. Um, in Sapphire... Oh shit. I need a menu also. Hold on. In 
And Sapphire, the first slacking is technically a range, but it's like 97%. The second slacking is a worse range. And I'm pretty sure Vigoroth isn't a range. But Zangus is a range. But it's better than this range. In, in Sapphire, the Zangus range is like high 80s or something like that. That's a very good first roll. Good. That Zangus is literally in the top five worst fights in the entire run. It's so stupid. <laughs> Alright, spend the time. Okay, good. Do it again. Nice. Fifty-one. Should be fine. Yep, alright. Slower but safer, I guess. Good that it crit on that turn and not the next. Defense drop, counter. Defense drop, counter. I got one of them. It's really important to get defense drop here. Can't get a good split. Crit? Wow, it actually crit. Okay. That saved a lot of time. Wow, this was still a pretty good split. It's 613. Despite getting crit twice by Vigoroth and um, not getting a defense drop on Slack, and it was still a sub 615. It's crazy. Used a lot of powders though. I only have three left. I gotta keep an eye on that. It's complicated. Uh, yes. In this case, yes. In fact, critting is faster than getting defense drop on turn two. Well, no, that's not true. Sorry, because I healed. Really?
Imagine not getting a tentacle. In fact, about this HP, actually tank bite. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty huge difference in the speed run. Largely boiling down to you're a significantly higher level in Emerald compared to Sapphire, because there's a bunch of extra fights. And the gym leaders in Emerald generally have easier teams compared to Sapphire. Again, at least for the speedrun's sake. Also, Titan Liza is way better in this game. It's not even close. <laughs> so consistently get screwed over by that spinner. If you have good HP, Tate and Liza are, is actually a pretty favored fight. You just need to dodge like three crits and get two ranges, pretty much. Hey, that's better than Fucking, I don't know. There are a ton of fights where it could be worse. Also, both the fa both the ranges are really favored. I don't know what the Zatu two shot range is, but it's really high. And then Lunatone is fifteen and sixteen. I'm not saying it's a good fight, I'm just saying if you have good HP, it's not that bad. Now if you have bad HP, you can throw on an extra coin flip in order to win. So basically your win rate halves. up that movement. Alright, it's fine. It was all Manip. Hopefully it was Manip for something good. Well, that's not a good start. If that happens, you're banned. Alright, I'll 
Take the crit. <laughs> crit is equally likely as missing the range. So, let's just assume that both of those happened there. No! I hate this Pelipper. Okay. I keep getting shitty while three splits. Why was this one so bad? Three bonks, tried to surf by accident. Spinner wasn't great. Also two useless crits, I guess. Alright, so this run is pretty good. Like, not amazing, but it's good. Which means I get a bad Winona split, because it's only the bad runs that get good Winona splits. Hi. I'd put it above 50%, probably around 60. Depends on the day, though. Dude. I did. There's a cue. You just line yourself up with the tree. There was. Probably just didn't see it on stream though.
I'm telling you, it's not possible. If I went a tile short, I would know. This is going to be real fun in like 20 minutes when I try to fly there and it's not going to work for some reason. But no, I'm... It's literally not even a concern. Alright, cast form. I believe in you, buddy. You can do it. Just kill the Carvana. <sighs> Feels bad. <laughs> oh, it's over. the range. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, considering I'm using a mud kip, I'll let you try to figure that out. Chomp gets mud shot at level 16, which is an amazing move for the mid game. Carries you through a lot of it, um, and it acts as an HM slave, and it it's good against Roxanne, which is also important. Water gun does a lot more damage than absorb. Okay, that's a good turn one. <sighs> Dude. It's a good turn two on the swallow at least. technically a range, so I'll take it. Uh, I was correct. This is a good run, so this split has not been very good so far. Granted, the double ba those two battle double battles could have been worse, but I miss Carvana range and protect from Pelipper is... Okay, I need to not crit. Don't crit. Wow. Actually got sweet set.
uh, low. I, I have no idea what sweet sense uh, chance of being used is, but it's low as fuck. And probably impossible if Razor Leaf kills. I don't know what the uh, AI that trainer has, though. Come on! Good. Alright, so the split ended pretty good. <laughs> Technically, it is possible to still get trolled by Pelipper, but it's pretty minor. Okay. Just keep throwing on the useless crits. Keep them coming. A Gen 3 miss would be Pelipper using Supersonic right now. Alright, so the double battles went not amazing, but then the the Tropius and Winona actually went basically perfect, so. This golds. What the fuck? That golded with those doubles? That's insane. I think I'm. I. I think I'm just overestimating how bad the doubles were. I think the doubles actually weren't that bad. I'm just... I was just getting annoyed at some stuff that was happening in them. That was the split with the time save. <laughs> nice. Explosion kills you without a crit, but it's still funny. Also, are you day one rating? I assume so. Cause I still need to find a team. I 
I have no idea what Controverse Hold is, but I mean, I've, I've gone full nothing manacles grenade build, and it's the most fun I've had in Destiny probably ever. Good-ass Winona split. Its special attack is good enough for, um... The second Carvana. If it leaves the first one on 1 HP, it's definitely good enough for the second Carvana. I do want to know what this cast form's special defense is, though, when it levels up, and also HP. <sighs> Always bonk there. Um, there is an advantage to naming your Swamper and Marsh Top different letters. There are niche scenarios where the game tells you the name of the Pokemon that was targeted and you want to know which one it was, but it's pretty rare. It is technically optimal to name Swampert something other than A, because you have to wait for no encounter nip anyway. But I don't fuck with that. And also naming Cast Form G literally loses like, I don't know a quarter of a second. I'll put it this way, any run that misses world record by a quarter of a second, like, it's not a run I want. That's a gunner quote. He says that all the time. percent sure where it is that it matters, but it, Amoeba does it, so it has to be somewhere. I'd be more than happy with a tied world record. This fight right here is literally just don't get crit. Okay. Now crit? No. Air cutter is the move that was more likely to kill me in that situation, so I'm not the most <laughs> jazzed about getting it, but I mean, we didn't die and that's what matters. It's 
not a real gold. My real gold is like seven seconds faster than that. Two times. No. Wait, no, I go down here. Fuck. <laughs> Mixing things up. Yeah, yeah, my real gold crits Crobat and gets like a sub 750. That was a 755. Might have been a 754. It was still a good split. Like I, I bonked three times total that split, and that was everything wrong with that split. Okay. When Chaos Room levels up, can someone just look at its HP stat for me, please? I need HP and Special Defense. I'm gonna look at Special Defense. Wow! Are you kidding me? That Carvana didn't die. That's insane. Yeah, this cast form's not great. 45 special defense. It's not very good. I really hope the HP is good. It has to be 81 then, or, or 75, okay. Yeah, 71 is not possible. Wow, that's really not good, actually. <laughs> yeah, those sets suck. Yeah, let me check the damage range. 45 special defense. Are you kidding me? Okay. I guess this is... What the fuck, man? The damage range on Psychic is 69 to 82, and I have 75 HP. That's like right in the middle. And I need to know, like, I need to decide whether or not I think the cast form is gonna live or die to it. Did anyone happen to catch the defense? I think this is strat 6, actually. 48 defense. Uh, mm, that's still not great. 67 to 79. 
I think this is strat six then. I have to check. Hold on. I need. I need time to check. to cast form, cast form dies to Zatu. Okay, that's fine. Because Zatu does more. That's not good. Yeah, okay, that's fine. There are seven different strats. Dude! Are you fucking kidding me? Any move would have been fine. Oh, actually, Bite still wouldn't have been great. Okay. Well. Another great run that's just gonna die on the altar of Tate and Liza because my HP sucks. The issue is not cast form, it's my Swampert HP. I think this is just strat 2. Strat 2 kind of sucks. Mm. Yes, this is strat 2. Well, that's... Yeah. Wait. Is it? I need to check my HP. It's either strat 2 or strat 4. Ideally, Curly a Psychic Swampert, but that's really rare. Okay. And it's not really worth stalling on Gyarados because. Like, Bite and Leer are both bad moves in that situation. And Thrash isn't even great, because I'm at minus two defense. Alright, what is my HP here? Okay, that's 135 plus is strat 2. The problem with strat 2 is it's a coin flip for Claydol to use the right move, and if it doesn't, I'm fucked. do this right. Strat 2, Abra and Slot 2, which makes sense. Because, yeah, I'm not dead to Earthquake. Actually, though... God, this is so dumb, because I actually kind of am dead to Earthquake. 
Oh no, but it's only if it's 100%. Yeah, yeah, no, this is fine. This is fine. I mean, it's, you know, fine. It's not fucked on top of how fucked it is. Like, it's not extra fucked. It's only fucked. I'm gonna swap Abra to slot 2. Leer bite leer is so dumb. This is real. Don't die. Okay. X special powder snow. No flyer. He uses earthquake. Surf pack. I call tails. That was not a good roll on Zatu. Hey, it was tails. I need to get this Zatu range though. That first roll wasn't very good. Okay, and that's just the Lunatone range. I'm 15 and 16 to win. Plus crit chance, I'm like 95% to win here. 42 plus 7 is 49, which is fine as well. This HP is good, just don't crit that one! <laughs> HP is good also. Is there a good time to potion? Not that I can think of. I can cancel turn frame right here. Oh. things I had three potions which is pretty crazy please get in the building <laughs> all right it's all manip one and two fifty six independent events one and sixteen each well it depends sometimes metang acts like a piece of shit and you just lose time sometimes he acts like a piece of shit and you lose the run it all depends Listen, mock biking exactly one tile can definitely be difficult. <laughs> By the way, the reason- because I didn't explain it, the reason why the Tate and Liza fight was so scary is because on on turn 3, Claydol is 50% to use Psychic, 50% to use Ancient Power. And Psychic puts me in, uh, puts me in Torrent, but Ancient Power does not. And if you don't get Torrent there, you can't win. But I got Psychic, so it all worked out. 
yes, no here. Yeah, pretty much. I got fucking sweet scent on Tropius, which is wild. Also, Pelipper didn't protect past the one standard protect that happens every run. but it's not useful because all my slaves are dead. Like, there's no point in the run where the revive would be useful from here. Besides, like, literally the only circumstance I can think of is somehow dying on, on, uh, on Juan. Sending in Swampert, reviving, throwing Rayquaza back out. But if that happens, the run's dead anyway, because it I would have lost a minute to get to that point. So it's, you know, meaningless. Alright, true double time. Yes, this was first run. Yes, there are a lot of Tate and Liza strats that use the revive, which is why I bought it. Because if if the Curlia fight went a certain way, I might have needed the revive. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, am I right? Good. Amnesia. That's not a good turn one. Good. Scary face. Good. Amnesia, focus energy. Good. That's really good. Alright, this fight is going really good so far. Uh, the optimal turn one would have been reflect instead of light screen, and then metal claw on turn two. But other than that, this has been an optimal start so far. This turn, I am basically hoping for reflect because he can't psychic crowbat. He could psychic golbat, but I don't want golbat to come out, so I want reflect here. Reflect is the best move he can do right now. I need this to kill. Yeah. Alright, I really need that tank to come through for me here. Uh, I can die here. I think. Eh, I can. But. You're fucking kidding me. Okay. Okay, health is fine. Alright. I mean, I win now. But that was not very good. That was almost a really good fight. There were just a couple things that happened that made it not good. It's also pretty annoying that on the turn with both bats out, Metang killed the Golbat instead of the Crowbat. If he killed the Crowbat, I could have saved a turn.
quite an unfortunate true double. Essentially a... Like, optimal is three surfs. A standard fight is four surfs. That was basically five surfs, because one of the turns was spent healing. Wow. Okay. Missed the select button. Got it. Don't worry. Got the healing items too. Anyone remember what wing attack max roll is? Really hope it's less than 33. It doesn't matter that much, actually. It should definitely be less than 33, right? Is it like 27 max or something like that? 29.30 max, maybe? Wow, frame perfect pause. Where's Mockwing when I need him? I don't know. I gotta get control of these notes and put these ranges in. <laughs> so I keep I keep needing to know them and not having them ready. Now the big question, do I want to risk a crit on turn one in order to go for the super fast fight if it happens to work out? I'm basically risking a crit either way actually. faster to do it this way anyway. Time loss is because my my true double fight was shitty. Completely expected to lose time over world record here. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It was a really bad fight. First two turns went good, and then fell apart after that. Oh, yeah, I have to get first try Rayquaza Nip. Every run needs first try Rayquaza Nip. You're not getting world record if you fail Rayquaza Nip. It's like 50 seconds per failure. No, it's like a minute per failure. I'll 
believe my fingers are plenty warm. Yeah. Take an extra step there. Oh, fuck me. What am I doing? It's fine, it doesn't matter. Claws on the nip. Every time. Jester, thanks for the raid. I was watching your run for a bit, but I had to turn it off once I got late game. steps and they'll Star Wars wears off in the right spot. Should cancel the audio lag there. I don't know why I'm not.
Eh, this split hasn't been amazing so far. Alright, time to warm up the flow timer. It is, yes. Obviously it depends on rain RNG, but it's a little over a minute, I think. RNG I've ever seen. <laughs> something something cycles. Pretty much. Last room's the hardest. Oh, Jesus. That was good. That felt really good, but you never know. Alright, good, good, good. I also think this is adamant. Quiet, interesting. Quiet is still good, though. I have the X special. Good. 
literally the only ray it's any at any use with is the adamant, and even with the adamant, it's not worth it. Alright, don't have to deal with missing fly on this fight. Give me the 25% three turn into hit through confusion. Okay, it's half of it. All right, here we go. I'm calling tails. There's heads this time. Tails. Okay. That's like not even slower than heal powdering. God, so much text. Okay, I'm still ahead of world record though. If I just if I got decent rain RNG, I would have saved time that split. A lot. <laughs> I don't know the actual number. It was probably like somewhere between 12 and 15 seconds. If you get perfect rain RNG, it's really fucking fast. I mean, that just goes with the territory. First runs are always bad. It's not surprising in the slightest. doing. <laughs> Fucked up that movement. <laughs> it's fine. I'm, I'm supposed to surf along the top of that. I went along the bottom. That loses no significant time. It doesn't matter. Just muscle memory from the Archie split taking over. Copium. Like, it really doesn't matter. I lost a second to movement there. <laughs> I lose more time from a single bonk on the mock bike, probably. I do want to save every second I can. His PB, his E4 is really, really good. It basically all comes down to the champ fight, honestly. Like Phoebe and Drake also matter, but like really, it there's so much variance on the champs on the champ fight. But that's what it comes down to. For resubbing Slayer. I, considering I have a hype train, I probably missed a bunch of other subs. I'm sorry. 
Oh, Jester also subbed. Thank you. I don't have alerts, though. Yeah, alerts come from my PC, which I don't hear. Wow, we're off there. That's how many extra steps I took. <laughs> Almost. Oh, Queen, thank you for the sub. Damn it. Fuck me. It, that, this section is so hard because that in, this entire floor is tile specific movement on the mock bike in in pitch dark. It's really hard to do it right. Almost, damn. I almost did that section without bonking. That's crazy. All right, there's one more run to bike left. You, I need to be hard on myself if I want world record. Like, it's... World record is really good. Like, world record has a pretty good run up to the Elite Four, and then his Elite Four is insane. Oh, really? Messed that up. Okay. <sighs> Fucked up that movement, so I just took it slow. <laughs> annoys me that I fucked up that movement, but, I mean... Uh, that, oh, that victory road is not very good. All right, Pelipper. Tails! I actually have no idea what the chance is that he, uh, super, that he protects here. I'm calling Tails. It wasn't Tails. Fucking hate Pelipper so much. I hate Pelipper. Well, that's fun. Now the real test is if you ever got if you ever gotten supersonic on Winona. And yeah, it's 2% to supersonic. That's why you always strengthen, you use strength when you finish up setting up your X attacks, even though he's most likely to use protect. Because if he does use supersonic, then it's, you know, it saves a bunch of time.
Yeah, Shiro, Shiro had world record that he set like three years ago, and then he beat it, as he said, last year. Prior to him beating his own record, Emerald was the longest standing record in PSR. Glitchless. PSR main category glitchless, I should specify. Yeah, he would be the guy who's held it the longest currently, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I am 24 seconds ahead of world record. That is the most I'm going to be ahead of world record for the entire rest of the run. Everything from here, there's only time loss, pretty much. I still have gold, yes. Gold is currently the longest standing record, if you don't count Emerald, because he beat his own record. Alright, does Flops work with me here? Just don't protect. No. Okay, just hit, just hit. Okay, tiny bit of time loss from the extra text, but way, way better than getting protected there. It's 50% for, uh, for that protect to work, assuming it uses it. No, Poke Guy is yellow now. Oh my god, I just realized this is the same run where I accidentally minimized OBS for a second, so it's probably a second gap in my footage. Hopefully it doesn't affect local recording. It's also probably not enough to disqualify the run, but I'm paranoid. I'm lost from the text from Protect. I might actually save time on this split. I don't know if Shearer had the quiet. And yeah, Ice Ball Mist would be crazy. Rayquaza Shiro had. Yeah, because he got Ice Ball Miss. That's right, he did get Ice Ball Miss. What's Ice Ball's accuracy? It's probably 90, right? Hail is the most likely outcome here, so... Is Ice Ball like the same move as Rollout? Does it do like stacking, increasing damage? Alright. I lost track of which Pokemon I was on, but this was correct. Huh, I didn't know that. Alright, this is a 14 and 16 range. Good. Shiro gets Protect into Rock Tomb here. So, or he might get Rock Tombness into Rock Tomb, I don't remember. He gets a perfect fight, basically. I can never remember, am I supposed to X-Speed on Shellgun or, or uh, 
the next thing if I get rock tombed. I can never remember. I thought it was Shelgon. But good. Rock tomb! Wow! Holy shit! This has a chance. This could actually do it. One fight left. I tank a blizzard from here. Could someone confirm that I tank a blizzard from here? I definitely should, but I want confirmation. Twenty-three. I have to. Yeah. Okay. I have the X special too. time. Okay. Come on, Wallace. Blizzard miss. Oh, I did have a useless crit. Thank you. You're right. Holy shit, no way. One more, one more, one more. No fucking way that just happened. That's it. That I, okay, hold on. Do I expect an, an outrage or do I double fly? What's better on average? Gotta be expect, right? So I don't expect I have to double fly. Please get this. This actually might not be it. It comes down to if I get three turn or not, basically. I don't know how much time I lose if I don't get it. Please. I'm, I'm risking the 50-50 if I don't get the three turn. Please, please, please. Yes! That's it. That has to be it. Yeah, that's it. Totally. Oh my god, I did it! <sighs> 229, baby! One and done! Oh my god, my, I can't feel my hands. I can't mash. I legitimately can't feel my hands right now. Slayer, thank you for the 2290 bits. Oh my god, my entire body is tingling right now. I honestly didn't think I would ever get a 229. Oh, my hands are like... 
tensioning up. I can't hold my hand. Like, my hands naturally are curling up like this. I'm not... These are my hands at rest right now. That's how fucking stressed I am. Oh, there's alerts, yeah. Two twenty nine fifty one, baby. These are my hands at rest right now. Just try I'm trying to hold them open like this, like just at rest, and they're curling up like this. Eventually you'll get through the alerts, right? Oh my god. It's weird, because this run I also wasn't nervous at all until the champ fight. Normally I get ner- on good runs I get nervous around Rayquaza of an it, but I just wasn't nervous this run. I think because I've gotten so many runs late, I didn't get it. Alright. Well, I hope I gave you guys the pop-off you wanted. I know, double blizzness to end it off. Sapphire next? Holy shit, fuck no. I still lost 11 seconds on Shears. <laughs> Elite 4 there. <laughs> Andrew, I know you're watching. Get in here. Got the, yeah, I got the three turn as well. If I didn't get that three turn, I don't think it was it. It would have been really close. Uh, wow. I, yeah, I got like 22 subs or something like that since I started stream. If I get 16 more, I get a new emote slot. So, A. Not that anyone is at all pressured to, to donate, of course. All right, so All right, let's yeah. For my plans, uh, first off, I have a 3DS right here. I'm gonna get a capture card on something that you can't see it through the alerts. Let's move the alerts. Hold on. Are the alerts done? All right, it looks like the alerts are done. So yeah, I have a 3DS. I'm going to get a capture card installed on that. I want to do X. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I think yellow is next. Yellow's been my plan for after uh, Emerald for a while. And says I'm not ready with X yet. Makes sense. I've never done the new route on yellow is the thing. That's the only reason I'm doing yellow is because the new route is good. Nah, no Gen 5 for now. I am interested in, like, Black White 2 at some point. But, like, that's a... <laughs> I just looked at the bottom of these notes and it just... <laughs> the, the bottom of these notes just say, You did it. I always believed in you. <laughs> With a smiley face. I did do it, didn't I? I mean, a 229 was more than I honestly could have hoped for for this game. Obviously, I wanted a 229, but I wasn't going to ever be upset if I never got it, because 229 is a hard time to get. And so at this time, I'm probably not going to run Emerald again. Like, ever. <laughs> Maybe any percent. <laughs> <sighs> One and done. Alright. Time for Wordle. No spoilers. Here, let's, uh... Uh... What is it? 
<laughs> it was yesterday's was pretty funny. I got in four. I heard that the way they picked what the words were was like the guy's wife. He just asked his wife what he thought would be good words, and she picked a list. All right, that is going to be it for me. <laughs> I guess late night streams are the key. Key to success. I don't see anyone streaming. I guess I'm hosting Critical Role. <laughs> They're doing like an Elden Ring one-shot right now. I gotta watch that. I also gotta print my own D&D &D session, fuck. <laughs> Alright. I'll uh... See you guys when I see you guys.